Hi guys. <laughs> Just gets better, doesn't it? Um, wow. Having denied there was parties and denied there was a... And Boris didn't know he was at a party. <laughs> he walked out into the garden. There was all tables laid out with all sausage rolls. Everyone had, and, and pies and stuff, right? And everyone had a glass in the hand. And you thought I might give it away when 30 people were staggering around half cut, you know. <laughs> I mean, they're not going back to work, are they? Um, right, so Boris didn't know he was at a party, which, which just about highlights his intelligence. Um, I've got to be careful what I say, because I got, I got a 24-hour ban from Facebook once or twice, actually, for saying that someone wasn't very intelligent. Not that there's any problem with freedom of speech there. Um, yeah, so Boris didn't know he was at a party. Now they've actually admitted, you know, well, mm, might have been a party. Um, yeah, and then it came out this morning, yeah, well, it was a party. And not only was it a party, um, someone got sent round to the local whatever, I don't know which supermarket, probably not even a supermarket, probably a specialised health licence, with a, a, a suitcase. <laughs> to fill with alcohol. <laughs> so not only, I mean, there's several traumatic stories come out in the BBC of all places, remarkable, um, about people who were, who were burying family members and people who were watching a relative die in hospital whilst Boris was boozing up on the terraces, you know. Um, but not only that, not only have they done that, not only have they put the country into lockdown and then had a party, They've then broken further lockdown rules by going out and buying non-essential items in the middle of the day. Hmm. Um, so, you know, if you want to go and do your shopping, if you were allowed to go and do shopping, you were allowed, allowed to go and do food shopping, you know. Um, so if you wanted to stick a few cans in the basket then whilst you had your pork chops and your cabbage and whatever else, fine. But they've gone out with a suitcase. A suitcase! And still, people believe that we're in the deadliest pandemic in history ever in the human race. <laughs> Australia, I don't know what Australia is doing. Um, they said uh, Novak, sorry if I mis mispronounce your name, mate, but, um, you know, um, Novak Djokovic um, could go to play in the, the, the Australian tennis open. Then they said he couldn't. Then it got changed around by a court, so then he could. And now he can't again, because now they've used basically the oldest law, the oldest bit of legislation in the Australian Constitution to say he's not of good character. Um, I'm not sure that really comes into it when you're the world tennis number one. I mean, you know, in, in years to come, if he's found out to have done dodgy things and fair enough, he's going to have to deal with that then. But, yeah, uh, not a good character. Nice one. What's your name? Scott Morrison, I think, isn't it? I've I'm, I'm never actually been really sure. Um, the, the Prime Minister, well, you need to be sent to jail, mate, to be honest, because you're just doing this for political ego, political standing. You, you're doing this to make a point. And really... We're supposed to be in the world, middle of the world's deadliest pandemic ever in the course of history, you know. Um, so political, egotistical manoeuvring really just shows that you've probably lied about everything else as well. Um, it's quite incredible. I, I had a really nice troller on Twitter the other night <laughs> who seemed to highlight that one of my videos had only had 75 views. Just, just something like 1,200 videos on there. I mean, you know, even assuming this channel wasn't hacked to death, you know, some of them might got lost in the middle. I've, I've known weekends when I've done five and six videos in one weekend, do you know what I mean? Um, wow, thanks for that, mate. Yeah, really. And also that I should get off. Uh, no one believes my, I think you might have used a swear word, something propaganda, um, and that I should uh, get off Twitter and get a life. Don't know the guy, I mean, you know. Wow. Um, 
I'll, I'll, I'll take that under advisement. This is Bruce Willis said in Die Hard. <laughs> oh no, wasn't it? It was a villain, wasn't it? When Bruce Willis said something to Hans Gruber. I'll forget the actor's name now. Um, I'll take that under advisement. <laughs> Oh dear! Oh, and I've had I've, I've been trying to start a new LinkedIn page. I'm, I'm basically putting all my poetry, everything I've ever written up online, on this page, and that's apparently suspect now for some reason, according to LinkedIn. <laughs> poetry. I'm not allowed to publish poetry anymore. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't mind, but I was there for about four hours yesterday morning. I'd I'd done about I'd copied up about twenty. Of my poems and then suddenly I couldn't publish anymore and then suddenly no one could see the page and it's just gone downhill from there really <laughs> and I got a notice this morning saying my account was suspended or restricted or something um, they're clearly worried about the world's deadliest pandemic <laughs> 